So one of the challenges with peace and conflict resolution education is actually, I think, the title. And so when people hear that, they think, oh, we only need this when there's a violent incident in our community, or we only need this if we're in a conflict zone. And that's a misnomer because we know that all young people can benefit from these skills. They can use them. We know that young people who learn these skills actually perform better academically when, the, when you have really well done programs. We know that it reduces violence in the classroom and outside the classroom. And one of the reasons I think that we don't always get the kinds of funding consistently for this work is because we need to do a better job of, of sharing the good results and the cost savings that are associated with it. So we know through cost savings research that for every dollar spent, you save multiple dollars that are given to schools um, that are doing these kinds of programs. And that's in both time savings for having to address these kinds of challenges that occur in all of our classrooms around the world, but also um, cost savings in terms of the staff time that it takes to address these issues and in the community. So if you're looking at involving law enforcement, um, if you have to prosecute a case and the, the extreme costs that are associated with that in our daily community violence, whether it be um, uh, physical fights in the communities or um, other kinds of violence that are occurring.